ambition means um, something that you're very passionate about, something that you feel very, very strongly about, that um, makes you want to go on a journey to try and find out. Ambition, to me, is more about the process. Every time you, um, you're looking for something, um, it changes. It's kind of like you're trying to find out your true meaning of, of why you're here and what makes you tick, um, what makes you who you are. Um, I don't think it's any one thing. Are you ambitious? I like to think I am. I, think, I don't think I would be here in New York if I wasn't. I originally came to New York um, to visit my brother and as soon as I you know, it was my first time in America. I never really had any desire to come before. But coming to New York um, for the first time was just such a, an amazing, it just opened up my world completely, especially from coming from a design, um, or learning about design and studying design for four years. It was, it was a, like an incredibly enticing city. Um, and I just found it so, stimulating everything everywhere I went I would walk everywhere and um, it just everything was so different and so exciting that it was that I just fell in love with it and I think that's why my brother was here too so um, so yeah I originally came to to visit him and I stayed here for three months went out of the country and came back for um, another three months so I ended up staying for a good long well, six months if we go back to when you talked about being ambitious, can you tell me a little bit about why you think you're that way? I think it stems from growing up in New Zealand, from being so far away from, from the world, and being curious. I, I wanted to learn about different cultures, different... I wanted to know what was on the other side of the world. Um, different language, different... Um, you know, way of life, meet different people. Um, I think just being in New Zealand, you're so far away from everything, um, which is not a bad thing, but it just made that curiosity, you know, sort of a little bit more, um, you know, light a fire under you to sort of get out there and, and travel and, you know, have the overseas experience. And so when that first happened for you, was that, that was just like an interest that wasn't particularly directed towards work, that was just needing to get out and see the world? Yeah, I think so. It was, there was no sort of set meaning or goal that I wanted to achieve. It just, I just wanted to go and see oh. and be on, you know, in a different part of the world. Yeah. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? I think that would have to be my brother, Stephen, who's here. And, okay. you know, we share the, kind of the passion of the city and the excitement of the city and I think that's why we've tried to you know make a life here um, so yeah I think Stephen would have to be when you ambitious. say he's the most ambitious is that because of his passion is that is there any other things about him that make you think he's particularly ambitious um, well just just having the motivation and the the, the um, the means to kind of create and start a new life in a different country, in a different city, um, and just following, you know, what your um, what your passion is. And for him, it was, you know, landscape architecture. Just to be here to to do that, I think is is very inspiring for me. And to to know that he he's done it and that we're doing it together is is really a lovely thing too. But I think um, his drive and his um, you know, he, he loves learning, he loves teaching and just that he's always doing something new and different and, and I think that's always um, inspiring to me to, to do what I'm doing. To... Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Um, time, mm -hmm. more time in the day because <laughs> um, it's definitely a juggle with, you know, life, work, family, um, home. So I think I would love to learn more. I'd love to, you know, go back to school and study, not not full time, but you know, just having the time to to learn more um, creative 
I don't know, techniques or design sort of related subjects. Um. Do you find that collaborating with others with different points of view helps you in terms of furthering your ambition? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's one thing that I, is very important to my business and where I um, would like to go. Like that's collaborating with other designers or other artists is very important to me and, and I think that's where I become my most creative. That's what excites me the most about having my own business and that's sort of where I want the business to grow. Um, there's a lot of different artists, a lot of different designers that I would love to work with. Um, but in the immediate sense, there's the interior designers where we have the process is very um, important to me. And it's, you know, we have design meetings where they give us their brief and, you know, we work together to sort of come up with a solution or what are the, what are the most, um, uh, what are the best um, materials to use, what are the best techniques, you know, we're working with budget, we're working with, um, you know, where the, where the, um, whether it's rugs um, or furniture, where, what situation is it commercial, is it residential, so there's a lot of different factors and a lot of different moving parts where we can, um, you know, collaborate together and work out the best possible solution. So I find that exciting, I find that creative and yeah. keeps me motivated. Do you have any thoughts on how ambition is viewed in New Zealand? Um, that's a hard question. I don't, I don't know how to answer that one. I've been away from New Zealand for so long that yeah. um, I don't know. Um, I know there's a lot of, I mean, growing up in New Zealand and, and sort of um, my era, <laughs> the people that I grew up with, I think have very similar views to me that um, there are, were a lot of ambitious people at the time. So we would have, you know, once you finish high school, the thing to do was to go overseas was to you know, either go to Australia or Europe and London. So I think that was, I don't know if that's still the case. Here in, in America, it's very different. You're, you're sort of expected to go to college, you know, straight away. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure.